Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjalayamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Vindi, Tamil Nadu. I am, uh, I am happy to share with you some activity-based learning on the subject hidden mass transfer. The methodology I used here is problem-based learning. I would like to share my experience uh, with this activity and the activity is problem based learning. The subject code is ME8693. Uh, the subject is hidden mass transfer under 2017 regulation of Anna University. The class is 6th semester mechanical engineering of A and C sections. The topic for the activity is force convection heat transfer in external flow. I am Dr. K. Kannan. The date on which the activity conducted is 31 to 2020 and the time is 11.10 a.m. to 12.50 p.m. that is third and fourth period and the venue is seminar hall of our administrative building. And the team details. So the section A, the class strength is 45. On the day of the activity, three students were absent. There are 42 students. Number of teams, 14 and the number of students per team is 3 and in the C section the class strength is 44 the presence number of students present on the day is 31 13 students are absent and the number of teams are 11 uh, nine, 9 teams of uh, 3 members and the last two teams of 2 members and the instruction to the students so the students were asked to assemble in the seminar hall at 11 15 and they were instructed about the team formation, team behavior and general code of code of contact. I instructed them to form in three members team and uh, every in every class on their own choice they can make a team of three member among their friends. So preferably in a class in the classroom they sit together three members or two members together the same fashion they they formed the team and for every team i allotted a table so around the table they can put the three chairs and sit there and after informing them the students came in number of teams i allotted all the team 25 teams i allotted the table and after that i i just visited all the teams and uh, i adjusted the student strength suppose the Three members, all the three members are above average student or all the three members are below average student. I adjusted. I have adjusted in such a way that in every team, there is only, there is one above average student, at least one above average student in a team. So that the learning will be better in the team. And I instructed how to behave in the team, in the classroom during the activity. So the, uh, the question paper after I will distribute the question paper after distribution of the question paper, the, they can discuss among themselves, the students can discuss among themselves and uh, you can, they can refer the hidden mass transfer data book and uh, they have to solve the problem given in the question paper. And the theoretical concept for the subject is already taught in the classroom. And uh, based on the theory, knowledge of the theory and uh, using the hidden mass transfer data book, uh, they have to solve the problem. And the general code of contact, so it is very much similar to the regular classroom. Uh, they should not talk with the other team members and if at all they have any doubt, they have to raise their hand and I will, I will go to them and I will give the clarification. So they, they can discuss among the team members and they were not permitted uh, to discuss or to talk with the, the neighboring team members. So every team with the three members, uh, they, were, uh, dis they were they have to discuss and solve the problem among themselves. And uh, for every for every team, one answer is enough. So the uh, st uh, student with the better handwriting, they can make the presentation. They can write all the answers in the answer paper provided to them. And they have to submit at the end of the two periods, they have to submit the answer sheet to the uh, faculty member. And this is the question paper. There were five questions, and uh, all the five questions are from the uh, force convection external flow heat transfer. 
and uh, the theory already i told uh, as i told already the theory theory part is already discussed and the use of the heat and mass transfer data book and the selection of the equations are also discussed in the classroom and now they have to solve the problem based on the theoretical theoretical knowledge and here the total mark is 60 and the third question uh, which has more subdivisions more more time consuming and the more details are to be calculated that carries 20 marks all the other questions are 10 marks uh, 10 marks we take and the distribution is also given and these are all the images photograph of the activity the students were assembled and they were solving the problem by discussing among themselves and this is what the this is how the activity happened inside the classroom and the analysis the maximum mark is 60 minimum mark to pass is 30 marks number of teams passed is 11 so the, for each team there is a mark first team 54 second team 29 third team 41 42 19 0 one team they got zero because all the three students were absent for the uh, few classes earlier 7th team 19, 51, 18, 26, 36, 52, 29, 21, 29, 24, 30, 20, 23, 15, 45, 37, 24, 48 and 38. And another way of analyzing, highest score is 54, uh, team number A01, the lowest score is 0, team number A06, the average score is 30.8 and the number of teams scored above the average is uh, 10 and number of teams uh, scored below the average is 15 and I have a sample answer paper of the top performing team you can listen to it this is the question paper what we circulated they got 54 marks and the team members are N Arunmani, K Arun Kumar and uh, M Adagar uh, the Arun Mani and Aragar, they are above average student. Arun Kumar is average student. So the answer for the questions, they did not write the question, they have to write only the answer. So for the first question, so here they made a mistake. So here they have to substitute the value 0.5 by wrong, by mistake, because the length is given as 3 meter, but they have to do all the calculation for x equal to 0.5. So by mistake, they put 3 here. So, 8 is the mark. Second question, they have to calculate, after calculating heat transfer coefficient, they have to calculate the average heat transfer coefficient by multiplying the value by 2. So, that is missing and uh, they have, they got 8 marks. And for the third question, and uh, this is correct, and this is also correct. Here again, heat transfer coefficient, they have to calculate the average heat transfer coefficient by multiplying the value by 2 and then they have to calculate the heat transfer. For cylinder problem, fourth problem, so they got the correct mark and fifth problem, they got the full mark. And after circulating the paper, I told them to write the feedback. So what was the mistake with them? Uh, they, they said, not found the average heat transfer coefficient. That is what the mistake made by them uh, during answer, during their answering. And the report on the activity. The class was initially noisy as the students are new to this uh, kind of activity. Once the instructions were given about the role and what is expected from them, they were calm and focusing on the problem solving. They were actively discussing and solving the problem. I went around and assisted them when they asked a doubt. The number of teams scored below average is 15 as they are due to this kind of learning. Once they understand the power of peer learning, they can do better. Few students who, who were who, who were absent regularly in the classroom are combined and the good students are learned from them. And the feedback from the students, so students were happy to discuss and learn from their classmates uh, involved in the learning actively. Uh, they do not have any fear in asking doubts, even small doubts they can freely ask with their friends and uh, they solve the problem. 
and this kind of activity are required for promoting learning of this this generation students and and also for uh, basically it is for promoting learning better learning among the students this generation youth students and this is also mandatory requirement for outcome based education or the nb and nac accreditation and if you got any feedback you can you can write to my mail id so i will i will be thankful for your feedback so thank you